hello guys in this video we'll see about forward refreshing so we were discussing about assemblers and uh, we understood that what is an assembler assembler converts a code to machine equivalent so guys don't forget to like and subscribe if you like it now let's move forward now what is forward referencing now you must know about assemblers very well what is its function you know so if you don't know you can see the description and you can go to the video and you can watch it and come back and i'll tell you what is forward referencing so you know what is labels so suppose and each label is assigned a address now in forward referencing uh, suppose this is a code this is a statement now here we see ret adr ret adr is a label and it is defined somewhere else in the program which is downward and definition is given downward but label is declared before the definition so what will happen it will create an error so what we do is uh, we'll create two pass assemblers one pass one pass it will only read the labels and in the second pass it will read its definition and it will assign value to the labels that is known as uh, forward referencing forward referencing problem this problem is known as forward referencing and we can solve forward referencing by putting two pass assemblers so again i repeat it suppose there are there is one label which is defined later but it is declared before defining so what uh, the compiler will do is it will first uh, read the labels and put it in a table and then it will assign the address of the label later on in the second pass first pass only the label and its name in the second pass it will assign its address and it will define the label that is two uh, two pass assembler that is why we use two pass so question will be like this like why we use why don't we use one pass assembler instead of two pass assembler so you have to answer it like this because of forward referencing uh problem we don't use it now next we move down we know there are three types of records header record test record and record we have also seen the modification record but in assembler there is no modification record In assembly simple program, here we see uh, how we write a ob object program for an assembler. First, this is a header record. First column will be H. Two to seven will be the program name. Column E to thirteen will be the starting address of the object program and column 14 to 19 will be the object program in bytes so you will see the alphabet h is the name of the program and this is starting address of the object program and this is the length of the program now next down we see t then we see the starting address for the object program length of the object program in bytes and object code starting letter t length uh, starting address is the length and this is the object code similarly we 
see the end record as column will be e and 2 to 7 will be the starting interest of the uh, object program now rest we will see in uh, next video we will see what is the function of two passes in the what will happen in the first pass and what will happen in the second pass so we just go to the description and take the link thank you please don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you have any doubts thank you